What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the changes you don't see coming for somebody. So let's see. I also do have my Instagram and Snapchat in the description box if you guys want. Saggy, what's up Sag? Thank you so much for being here. <sighs> this message can resonate with you if you have Sagittarius as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Sag, some of you guys are about to be really relieved. <laughs> like, really relieved about something. I don't know. Um, that sigh just felt so relieving, so satisfactory to me. Okay, um, so I'm going to do what changes you don't see coming. I'm going to do two different spreads. I'm also going to use two different decks. Um, I do do this once a month, but I decided to do it twice this month because we are entering into a new chapter, a new level in this game called life. <laughs> so um, I was like, you know, what? I wanted to do something, but I didn't know I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to be like, what's going to happen in 2023? Because I don't believe in time. I feel like time is is an illusion was created to control us how when what we do but that's a different topic for a different time all right sag so let's see also this video is intended to be um confirmation so if you guys know something is going to happen or you have a feeling this video could also confirm that for you okay all right spirit let's see sagittarius what changes something sagittarius okay bottom of the deck is strength wow you're a lot stronger than you think my love that's beautiful. You have Queen of Gabriel as the first card here. Okay, so. Wow, you're going to be feeling like a thousand bucks, Sag. And right now you might not be feeling so hot, but you're about to be feeling independent, charming, brilliant. Like, you're going to be walking around. People are going to be like, what's going on with Sag? Like, why is Sag acting like they shit don't stink? <laughs> But that's not even that's not even how you're trying to come off. But that's how people are going to perceive it for some of you. I see you going after exactly what you want here. Getting what you want. Sagittarius, what changes? Man, team, forgiveness, surrender, and release. After, after you release something. Um, bottom of the deck is sail on. You're heading in the right direction. This might be conf confirmation video for a lot of you. If you're doing the right thing by moving on from something, yes, you are. Because you're moving on from something and into your strength. That's, it's going to give you strength enough to do this. The power that you need. Some of you guys could have Leo in your chart or be dealing with one. Eh. All right. What is this Queen of Gabriel and Manatee? That Sagittarius doesn't see coming. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Wands. I might do more videos later. I just got that now. You have the Ace of Cups and the Empress. And maybe you might get pulled. That's why <laughs> they want me to tell you. Uh, you have the Sun and the Three of Pentacles here. Okay, so... With Eight of Wands here as well. All right, there's going to be a new beginning in love for a lot of you. If you guys are already committed to someone, this is a new level in your marriage and your commitment with this person. And it's a lot of you guys are about to be pregnant, about to get pregnant. Um, and it's and a lot of you guys from this pregnancy is going to make you feel so beautiful. It's going to make you feel like you have never like the love that you're going to have for yourself is going to be so immense. And it's like. And you're gonna be like, well, this was all that I, that I, it's like you know how some people be like, oh, you know, I never knew what love was until I had a child. That's what's gonna happen for a lot of you. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, pregnancy is here. Other uh, for others of you, again, there's a new beginning in love here for a lot of you after you forgive and release something, and this is gonna be beautiful here. This is so I'm about to cry. Oh my God, Sag. This is going to bring you so much happiness and it's like ugh, collaboration, teamwork, like, like this energy. I feel like maybe you guys have had energies before where it's like they weren't trying to work with you. They weren't trying to um, see things eye to eye with you. It's like this energy is very much doing that and it's going to happen really quickly here. Again, you're going to have to let go of an energy that you're you're not really talking to or that you're talking to very spiritually. This could be this forgiveness and surrender in order for this to come in. Some of you guys um, are going to be stressed because I feel like you might not feel... This could be someone who is very, very attractive. 
and you could feel like oh am i can i can i own up to this like is this even going to be a fair situation here i feel like you're not listening to your intuition here and because you're not listening to your intuition you could be um like feeling very unbalanced within yourself here make a logical decision here especially when it comes to your money but whatever this is Sash, this feels really freaking good okay and the changes is gonna be <laughs> beautiful finding balance because some of you guys could be really busy and it's like how are you gonna be able to fit this beautiful new thing in your energy as well as your life but this is it's like it's going to bring this new thing that's coming into your space Sagittarius is going to bring an energy of collaboration. Maybe you and your partner haven't really been seeing eye to eye. And it's like this new level of commitment, this new thing in your life is going to actually bring you guys together. This is beautiful. It's like you guys are going to grow, get a stronger bond through working together with this new emotional beginning. This is so nice. Again, if you're not, if you're not in a committed relationship, this is a new love coming here in for you and they're gonna and they're gonna work with you right maybe you guys are both have busy schedules and you guys are gonna be able to work as a team and get shit done out here wow this person's gonna love you a lot make you really happy wow it's gonna be open to things not gonna be shy perfect for you right Sagittarius okay what is the change that you don't see Okay, bottom of the deck is the five of Ariel here. All right, oh, you got three. You have the Knight of Gabriel, the High Priestess, and the Two of Michael. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Sorry for the glare, guys. All right, so there's something here that you have to take action on. Your intuition is telling you here, but you're just like, um, I'm going to just wait a second. Um, I'm going to just wait a second before I do anything. Um... But your intuition is like pondering you with the same idea, the same thought. Could be a Pisces. I feel this could have to do with your money situation for a lot of you. Some of you guys could be um, financially um, struggling a little bit right now. If not, it could be about your stability. You got to change your perspective, though. Um, you got to be honest with someone here. All right, let's see. What is this um, changes that Sagittarius doesn't see coming? Seagull. Oh, okay. They wanted that one, too. Seagull. Look at the bigger picture. Yeah, I got that with perspective. Blue lobster and sea glass. Ooh. You got sea glass, Sagittarius. This is like one of the most powerfulest card and in this deck um i consider that okay listen guys there's something your life is about to change the way you thought your life was going is not going to go that way okay and whatever situation you're in right now you're meant to be somewhere else that's what I'm getting with that. It's like you're rare. And it's like I feel like I'm going to clarify. You have to look at the bigger picture, right? It's like there's there's a bigger picture to this. Like I feel like your energy is is being called to go somewhere else. I don't I don't know. Let's see. Cuz then you have sailors knot entanglement at the bottom of the deck here. Ties and bonds. You could feel like you need to be with an energy. Look what just popped out the devil this is very strong attachment this is this is obsession this is feeling the need like no i have to be with this energy why do you have to why do you have to are you changed to this person or this energy no you're not yeah circumstances yeah well because of this and because of that new like what are you talking about oh okay but all of that you can you can all of that is just an excuse because you could you could, it might cost work of course, but you got yourself in a situation, so you have to get yourself out. That's just plain and simple. Um, I don't know. I'm getting different energy. Four of Cups in reverse. Oh, shit. You don't see this coming. All right, let's see. What is this? Knight of Gabriel, High Priestess, and Two of my Michael. 
changes that sad to see coming with this energy. Sheesh! I'm not taking off. <laughs> That's too much. That was a lot, Sag. Changes. Okay. All right. Bottom of the deck is the devil in reverse. Good. You're letting it go. Some type of negative energy. You have the queen of cups and the two of cups in reverse with the eight of swords and the moon in reverse. Okay. Again, two of cups in reverse. You're not supposed to be in a certain energy. You're not supposed to be with someone. It's just because it, it, there's just it, there isn't a match here. And as much as you want it to be a match, it's not. I feel like you're the queen of cups here. I feel like you're very nurturing. You're very caring. Some of you guys could have cancer in your chart, but it's like this other energy isn't giving you, isn't giving you that back. Um, the eight of swords in reverse with the moon in reverse. It's like, I feel like you facing your fears is going to get you out of this anxiety, this stressful energy that you're in right now. Realizing that something isn't, maybe isn't working. And that maybe something has to go a completely different route. Right? Because something here isn't working. It's just not. No matter how many times you try to do it, it's like it's not. And I feel like you're making it harder for yourself. And I'm going to be honest with you. And I feel like you feel like you need to be with this energy for whatever reason. But that's that's just. And I'm going to speak it. And I'm going to speak this to you from spiritual terms. OK, you and this energy could have an attachment from another life. And you guys brought it into this one. Right. And it's like maybe you're the one in this lifetime that has to be the one to cut the cord off, to cut this off, to not allow this to drag on. Maybe in another lifetime, you guys um, no one cut it off in the other lifetime. And it's like things didn't go as planned you 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 both individuals didn't learn the lesson that was supposed to be learned because you guys stayed tied up in this energetic uh entanglement but in this lifetime you had to repeat it again because you didn't learn the lesson in the life last lifetime and now you're here and it's like it's like something has to happen and that's why i said your intuition is pounding you with it and some of you guys are like oh no that's just my mind wanting to give up it's not my love it's not it it's so loud because it's like again this is from a past life for a lot of you and it's time to cut the damn cord okay for whatever this is all right all right well that's all that i have for you i hope this helped have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive